Hi, this is Bentley from h, h Color Lab with another quick video tip. This is the fourth video in a four-part series that I started a while back that shows you how to create custom shapes, use layer styles with custom shapes, and then finally write a layer style custom shape into an action to watermark your image. For example, in the video three we created an action that will place a watermark either on a horizontal image like this and size it down for proofing or a vertical image like this and size it down. So we can see as we zoom up on both of those that watermark has been placed on both a horizontal image and a vertical image by running the appropriate action. That's all well and good if we're only doing one or two images at a time but if we have a whole folder of images that we need to convert it can be a little bit cumbersome. To automate this process, we're going to look at using Adobe Scripts. You can find scripts under File, Scripts, and then once you've created a script, it will be saved down here in this bottom section. I've already created a script called Watermark, so let's see what will happen. First, I'm going to have a horizontal image selected. You'll notice that my Watermark action is actually sitting on vertical right now, but that's okay. So we'll go File, Scripts, Watermark, and you'll notice that it's going to run the horizontal action on that image because it was a horizontally oriented image. If we do the same thing now on the vertical image and go File, Scripts, Watermark, once again we're going to see it's going to run the appropriate action based on the orientation of the image. Now let's take a closer look at Scripts. Here we're looking at a very simple script which is all we need to do for this action. Scripts can be found out on the internet just by doing a Google search for them and in many cases you can find a script that will do what you want with very little if any modification. Most script modification can take place in either TextEdit on a Mac or in the Notepad application on a PC so you don't need any special editing software to be able to modify a script. Looking at this script we can see that it looks at the document's width and compares it to the document's height. That's what this line right here says. So the top line says if the active document's width is greater than the active document's height then do the following action. Or else if the active document width is less than the active document height do a different action. So that's pretty simple to understand. So let's move this to a part of the screen over here so we can still see it. Click into Photoshop and we see we have a vertical action here and an action set called Watermark. Jumping back to the script, this section right here in quotes is the action set name. This set right here in quotes or horizontal is the actual action name. So in Photoshop our action set is called watermark and our action is either for vertical or for horizontal. One thing to keep in mind is scripts and the relationship to actions are proof are case sensitive and space sensitive. So everything has to be perfect. So the easiest way to do this is come in and double click on the on the action set name it'll automatically be highlighted and then just copy that. I just pressed Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. I'll jump over to the script, highlight the script or the action name or action set name, in this case 5x7 proofs. Make sure you leave that .atn in there, that's the extension it needs, and then paste in or Control V, Command V, the action set name. So I've put in watermark there. I'm going to replace that as well down here on the second line so they, they now both say watermark. Now I'll jump back into Photoshop, come to the vertical action, press double click on it, press command C to copy the name, come to where it says vertical, command V to paste, and do the same thing on the horizontal and paste that in. So I've just modified this script to run the action and the action set that are appropriate from what I'm looking to do. Now there's a couple things that you'll want to do when you come to save the script. 
I'm going to do file save as because I want to give this a new name. I'm going to save this as watermark and save change the extension from txt to .js for JavaScript. And on a Mac, I want to make sure first that my format is for plain text and then change the formatting or the encoding to Unicode UTF-8. On a PC through Notepad, that's not necessary, but on a Mac, make sure you do that else your script isn't going to work. On a Mac, there are also uh, other script editing applications uh, that you can find. Um, for example, there's one called Espresso. Another one that you can use on the PC side that's really nice to work with is Notepad++. So I'm going to now save this watermark.js. I'll close that. And then I'm going to move that into my scripts folder, which is saved inside of Adobe Photoshop CS4, Presets, and Scripts. So I see my watermark script in there. When you first put a script into Photoshop, into this scripting folder, you'll need to shut down Photoshop and relaunch it for that script to be accessible. So now when we come back up under our scripts, we're going to see that watermark is in there. Now, to record the script into an action, we're just going to make a new action and call it script. Press record. Come under file, scripts, watermark and it will automatically place the watermark on the image if it's horizontal or vertical. We can see that it's been placed here. Now, because I know that I want to do this on a folder of images, I need to do a Save As. So I'll do Command-Shift-S to do a Save As. I'm just going to save this onto my desktop right now. I'm going to choose to keep it as a JPEG. Save it in the color space. Press Save. I can set up my JPEG options and press OK and then I'm going to close that image and stop recording. Our final step is to create a batch action and we're going to run this by creating a new action in our action set watermark and we're going to call this one run me. This will be the action that we're going to run whenever we want to put our watermark on a folder of images. We'll start recording. We're going to go file, automate, batch, we're going to choose to play the set watermark and the action script. We'll specify the folder of images that we want these actions to come from. We'll press choose. We'll specify a destination folder. In this case, I've created one already called proofing on my desktop. And we're going to tell it to override the action save as commands so that it saves it wherever we tell it to go. And then now we're going to press OK and we're going to see it's running our action based on the orientation of the images and if we bring Adobe Bridge over we can see it saving those images into that action into that folder as we go now the action has stopped running the script action and now we need to stop recording the run me action so we'll just press stop the last thing that we need to do is on the run me turn on the toggle dialog against the batch line. What this will do is when we run the run me action, which we'll do again, it's going to pause to let us to set up our batch criteria, specifically the input folder or the source folder and the output folder where we're going to save our files. So our final action set for watermark is going to have a four vertical and a four horizontal action, a script action, and a run me. Where the run me runs the batch command which calls the script, which then determines if we have a vertical or horizontal image, runs the appropriate action, and then saves and closes our images. Which allows us to put a watermark on a folder of hundreds of images that are both horizontal and vertical with just three or four mouse clicks. Well, I know this last video was a long one. I hope it was worth your time and you can put all these videos together to be able to watermark your images and place them wherever you need to go.